Okay, so today we're going to be working on relief stitches or as patterns call them, uh, front post and back post uh, stitches. So what I've done up to now is I've just chained 34. So we're going to work our first double crochet into the third chain from the hook so that the, the chain will act as the first stitch. Uh, we're actually going to make our patterns in between two turning chains. Um, you can actually work uh, front and back post around the turning chain, but for this I think it's easier to show you the pattern in between the turning chains. So it'll all become clear once we start. Okay, so we're going to work a first double crochet into that third stitch. One, two, and into the third. So a double crochet into that stitch and then simply working all the way down the chain. And what we should end up with is um, 32 double crochet with the first uh, two chain acting as the first double crochet. So let's get on with that. Okay, so I've now got my 32 uh, double crochets. So we're going to work around the stem or post of, of these stitches. So the stem or the post is the height of the stitch. So where you may be more used to working into the top of the stitch, we're going to work around the stem. Okay, so we've got to make two chain first. So the reason we make two chain for the height of the double crochet is because this new stitch is going to sit a little bit lower. So three chain would be too tall um, to, for that next stitch. Okay, so we'll turn the work. And what we're going to do is work an ordinary double crochet, as you know how to do, yarn over. But this time we're going to go in through the front gap next to that post and come back up in the gap on the other side. So this is why it's called front post, because the post that we create now will be on the front of that stitch. So yarn over, pull through. And now that we've done that step, we can just finish the double crochet in the same way that we usually would. But you can see now that sitting on top of that stitch and it's obviously started a little bit lower down than it normally would. So that's why we only want two chain there. Okay, so I'm gonna make five front posts for this pattern that I'm gonna make for this little swatch. So I'm gonna go round in through the front, round and back through to the front, going round the back of the stem of that stitch and make my double crochet, so that's two. Three, four, five. Okay, so you can see now I've got a raised section there. So the first row, feels a bit clumsy and doesn't really look that good. But once you start building up the rows in the alternate um, stitches, you get a nice basket weave effect. Okay, so that was front post double crochet. Now I'm gonna show you back post. So just like with front post, we're gonna yarn over. This time we're going through the same gaps, but we're going around the back of the work and bringing the hook through to the front and then going down through this other gap and pushing it through to the back. So it's just the same technique, but posting the hook a different way through the uh, gaps either side of the stitch. So that's how we complete our back post double crochet. So you can see it's sitting on the back of the work. So it's basically the opposite of what we've created there. And when you turn it over, you'll have that as the front post and that as the back post. Okay, so we'll yarn over, come through the back, over the top of the stem or the post, into that other gap, yarn over, pull through. So you've got your three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So now I've made two um, back post double crochet. So I'm gonna do three more. Mm 
maintenant okay so now we've got a section of ones that sit to the front and a section that sit to the back so i'll do one more of each just to give you another go at that okay just get a bit more yarn off the ball okay so yarn over go down through the front this time and up again so you've got that post on the front of your hook yarn over pull through pull through two pull through two so that's one do it again make sure that post is on the front of your hook yarn over pull through two pull through two so we're going to do five to keep this pattern going Two, three, four, and five. So we'll do one more section of back post. So this time the hook's coming in front of the stem or post, pulling through. The back post is probably a little bit trickier, I would say, than the front post, just in terms of getting your hook in the right place. So I'll show you very slowly. Yarn over, push and come up through the side gap, push down and go down through the other side gap, yarn over. This is a tricky bit, keeping it to the back. But once you've got that and you've got your three loops on hook, it's fairly straightforward. Okay, so I've got two. Three. Five. Okay, now you should start to see the pattern emerge in the sections. And then on the next row, um, we'll do the same again to make a square. And then we'll start to alternate so you can see the basket weave effect. So I'll let you carry on and complete that row. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what happens when you get to the end of the row. So we've got one, two, three, four back post um, double crochet. So I'm gonna do one more round that last previous double crochet. And for this swatch, we're going to work an ordinary um, double crochet into the top of the two chain turning chain but as I say you can work another relief stitch around there for other patterns but for this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to do it with a turning chain either side of your pattern that can be useful if you wanted to make a border say it's going to be a blanket and you want to make a border all around it can be easier to have a turning chain there rather than a relief stitch okay so now we're going to create another row of um, front post another five front post double crochet, yarn over. This time it's going around the stem of the previous one you made. So the same as we did around the double crochet, but it's actually going around the post of the front post double crochet now. And in turn, that will sit forward the same way that the one beneath it does. One, two, Three, four, five, and then similarly to the last row, we're going behind the work. One, two. Three, four, five. So I'll just flatten that out and you can see how it's taking shape. 
there. So we've got almost a square. Now that first row doesn't really count. This is where our pattern's taken shape. To be fair, what you would normally do if you're going to make, say, um, basket weave blanket or cushion cover, you wouldn't start your first row with a row of double crochet. You would actually start it with half double crochets just because they're a little bit shorter, but they've still got a decent post to wrap around, but they won't show once your pattern begins to emerge. But for this tutorial, I didn't want to set you an extra challenge of having to work around the stem of a half double crochet, which can be a bit harder when you're just learning how to do this. So I thought we'd do a row of double crochets and work around them. It's a bit taller, a bit easier to get your hook around. Okay, so what you'll need to do is follow what we did here for the rest of the row. Okay, so hopefully you've got something that looks like this now. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work the other way around. So we'll make uh, squares or blocks of alternating pattern like we have here um, to give you that checkerboard or basket weaver effect. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward. Now you know the basics. So what we need to do this time is instead of working that as a front post double crochet, we're going to work a back post around it. Okay, so we're going to yarn over, go around the back, just like we did before, but this time we're working it into the previously uh, front post double crochets. So this new row of back post double crochets will sit above to make an interesting pattern. More often you would make more rows going the same way before you change if you want that deeper checkerboard effect. But for this tutorial, just so it's not going to take you forever to practice, we'll just do two rows per row. Okay, so now we've moved into what was the back post section, but we're now making front post double crochets. And you can see the pattern starting to emerge. And it's a lot easier to keep track of how many you need to do because obviously it's it's quite clear what type of stitch you're needing to make. Okay, so you'll start to see the reverse effect of what we've done here. So what I'm going to do is finish this row. And I'll do a few more rows and you can see the full effect. So there you have a finished swatch. So... You can see how effective it looks, the checkerboard or basket weave effect. So um, yes, there will be some different patterns using this stitch uh, available on the website soon. Uh, but for now, have a little go at this and uh, yeah, let me know how you get on. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure you subscribe because I am going to be doing plenty more to so keep you busy. Um, yeah, and if you want to sign up for my newsletter, which you, you get discounts, offers, things on patterns, um, it's well worth signing up to. And I only send one email a week. Um, yes, yeah, sign up. I'll put the link in the comments below. And thanks for watching Cheska and Woodrow Crochet Tutorials.